Tomorrow, tens of thousands will march on Washington and more than 400 other cities across the globe, entering the political arena as the White House threatens to cut money from climate programs. WJZ's Live, Kimberly Eaton speaks with scientists and students in Maryland who want to make sure they are part of the policy conversation. Kimberly. And Vic, they'll be among the 150,000 people expected to converge on D.C. starting tomorrow afternoon to raise public support of science and to fight funding cuts. Inside this UMBC classroom Friday night, student scientists prepare for an experiment in democracy. And I wanted to make a play on the anti-vaccine movement. Making their messages heard or read amid the 150,000 people expected to march on Washington's National Mall Saturday. They're a different kind of preparation. Barriers and stages set for the 2017 March for Science. We will want to make sure that you know our voices are heard and we have a seat at the table when it comes to science in general. They're not alone. Scientists across the world will leave laboratories and classrooms Saturday, marching in 400 cities around the globe. The movement fueled on social media, much like the Women's March in January, bringing half a million people to the Capitol. Scientists tell WJZ the message is political, but it doesn't tow any party line. Science is inherently political. Our government uses science all the time. Something threatened by the current administration, dating back to President Trump's days on the campaign trail. It's time to put America first. We're going to put America first. That includes a promise to cancel billions in climate change spending for the United Nations. For marchers, concerns include an 18 percent, six billion dollar cut in funding to the National Institutes of Health and denial of established science like the threat of climate change and changing immigration policy. Science is always political, but people don't see the role that it plays in our politics and our policy. And what we should be doing is having the best available scientific evidence and fact on which to guide that policy. And she says tomorrow is also a celebration, a way to remind people of the role of science in our society. Of course, appropriate that it falls on Earth Day. Reporting live tonight, Kimberly Eden, WJZ Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. The March on Washington starts at 2 tomorrow afternoon.